Hey everyone, I want to do the update for the large grow tent now and kind of show you the growth of our tomato plants and the peppers. I did a foliar feeding of some of these with the uh, seaweed extract, but I've been harvesting off peppers all week this week because they've really started getting, you know, a lot on here. I had, uh, I think, 25 in the last three days that I've harvested out of here. So here's one that's going to be ready to harvest. There's a bunch more down in here. There's some good sized ones down there. that side I mean those those are ready right now to harvest so I'm saving those for uh, our kale dinner for tomorrow night there's some more on that one that are ready to harvest Let's see back in there is some more so overall these uh, these little peppers they're really starting to produce there's a whole bunch there a bunch of green ones back there a lot of yellow ones back there you can see over there and this tomato plant, you can see we've got a bunch of uh, tomatoes on this new growth up here that are starting to turn. So we got one there, one here. And I've been eating these as my tomatoes for our, uh, my kale salads while Paula's been out of town. You can see there's a bunch there that are ready. A couple more down there. There's a bunch hanging here that'll be, you know, ripening in the next, you know, week or two. And then I'll come through here and after I harvest those, I'm going to come and trim off a lot of this dead stuff. A lot of the, uh, the growth that's already flowered and no longer doing anything, so that way I can clean this up just like I did the last time. And then it gives a lot more light inside there. There's some more uh, starting to turn on this tomato over here. There's a bunch hanging down there that have flowered and uh, set fruit. So it's looking good. I need to come in through here, and once I get the, the harvest off of these lower limbs, I'm gonna probably chop this one off the hanging, and then we'll just keep the upper stuff growth here. Got a lot of nice growth up here, a lot of flowers, a lot of fruit set up here on this potted one. This week I harvested off a lot of the lower ones. There's still a couple that weren't ready to turn yet, but they're turning now. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these Bell Star tomatoes. They're a, a determinate plant. But if I do decide to do any of these next year, I'm gonna do them in cages like this. It makes it so much more easy to, to maintain. I've never done a hanging tomato before, so I thought I'd do a, a little trial of that this winter. I mean, it's okay if you have the space to do it, but it really blocks your access to get in here in and inside your tent to grab, you know, whatever you want to get. So I kind of have to, you know, pull things out of the way, pull the fan out, you know, and move around things. Otherwise, you know, I've, there's a couple of times I've actually snapped off limbs, which kind of, you know, kind of upsets you. You've got all this growth and these, this electricity that you're spending in these lights to, to grow this stuff. And then when you snap off a limb that's got like five or six nice sized tomatoes on it, you're just like, damn lose those because you know they're not going to ripen and have that flavor they'll taste like those store tomatoes you buy you know you get the organics in the stores and they have this they kind of a, a watery bland taste and it's just there's nothing like a homegrown tomato to compare to when you've grown your own and you eat that stuff from the store you know you're eating garbage because <laughs> they have to pick it early they ripen it with the gases inside the storage warehouses and then they ship them to the stores and they leave them hooked onto the vines like they're some kind of special thing and they charge you a premium for it and it's just not worth it so that's why i grow this stuff over the winter and i'll continue to do it until you know i have a greenhouse of my own on my farm and then i'll switch everything outside but while i'm still here stuck in the urban city i'm going to be growing indoors all right everybody this has been brian for pmb homesteading hope you guys had a great weekend and uh get your plants growing and start your seeds it's not too late you can still get them out there in your yard if you're here in the pacific northwest all right guys bye